Hello guys, welcome to another video. This one is a request video uh, for part B of question 13. This is paper May, June 2020 of paper 1-1. Okay, so let's see what is the question. So the length of a rectangle is increased by 10%. The length is increased by 10%. The width of the same rectangle is decreased by 10%. So the width is decreased by 10%. Now, uh, question is find the area of the new rectangle as a percentage of the area of the original rectangle. Now, for example, let's say we have this is our original rectangle. So we don't know what is the length of the side. Let's call this one. Let's call the length x and the width. Let's call it y. Now, this is the this one, right? This is initial. And now we say that the length has increased by 10% and the width has decreased by 10%. So let's do that. So what is the new what is the new uh, length? Increased by 10%. So the way we look at this is the initial length is always going to be 100%. Now if it is increased by 10%, we have to add 10%. That becomes the new one will be 110%. Now, what is 1 10 percent? It is 1 10 over 100, which is 1.1. So the new length will be 1.1 times x. That's why we take this times x. So same way, the width now is decreased by 10 percent. So initial width will always be 100 percent. Now decrease by 10 percent, that will be 90 percent, right? Now what is 90 percent? 90% is 90 over 100, which is 0 0.9. So the new width will be 0 0.9 times y for the new width. Now the question is, find the area of the new rectangle. So how do you find area of rectangles? So area, as you know already, it is length times width. So let's find this area. So area will be what? Length is 1.1x times 0.9y. That's the area of the new um, rectangle. Now, what is the area of the original rectangle? You say same thing, length times width. So area here will be x times y. So now to find percentage, we have to take the new value, this new value over the initial value times 100. So let's do this here. So percentage will be the new value, which is 1.1 times 0.9 xy divided by the initial value times 100. Now if you simplify these two, will go away. And this time this will be 0.99. That will give you 99%. So your answer will be 99% of the original area. So this is your answer for part B. So I hope that was somewhat helpful. I think the main point here is this and this, right? To find this value and this value and then find the area. That's pretty easy. That is easy as well. I think the main part will be to find these two. So we know the new length and the new width. So I hope that was somewhat helpful. As always, thank you for watching. And if you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you guys. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.